Hello and welcome to ISTV English News. This is Nandita Lashram giving you the news. First headlines. Three unidentified gunmen steal gold jewelry worth rupees 20 lakhs from the residence of Arun Enterprise proprietor. And now the news in details. In a daring robbery, three unidentified gunmen stole gold jewelry worth rupees 20 lakhs from the residence of the proprietor of Arun Enterprise. Yesterday at around 8 p.m., the three armed robbers stole the gold jewelry and rupees 45,000 in cash from the wife of Arun, who is the proprietor of Arun Enterprise. The residence of Arun is at Chingmerong, which comes under Lumfield Police Station. According to Pundimashi, the three robbers came to their house in the evening and threatened her with a small gun. She was asked to open the Godrich Almira. The three robbers took away gold jewelry and rupees 45,000 in cash. While they were stealing, Punimashi was kept locked in another room. She shouted for help, which could not be heard by people due to Lai Haraba festival in the locality. Her husband, Arun, was not at home during the robbery. It, it can be mentioned that here that the residence is guarded by security guards. The Lumfield police are investigating as to how the three men managed to rob the house which is guarded by security guards. According to Punimashi, one of the gunmen wore masks while the other two wear caps. <laughs> ไอ้ที่นัชินทีนูไฮมารุนพบุนปาสนาอะไรที่นัชินทีนูไฮบุไดที่ไอ้ที่ไม่แก่เลยมวยอุ้มแม่ไม่ได้มาสโลยอุ
The third Foundation Day of Student Welfare Association of Kangli Park, SWAK, was held at Ramlanpal Higher Secondary School today. Trinamul Congress Manipur President Kim Gangte, SWAK President Yendrimbam Chandrasekhar and Principal of Ramlanpal Higher Secondary School, El Rashi, were also present on the occasion. Those who spoke on the occasion stressed the importance of students in our society. They also maintained that the students need to go in the right path and know their duties and responsibilities very well. well Well-educated persons with right ideals will bring about development in our society. They further observe teachers' role in molding a perfect student. Was he power here? Mama Tanda, Minister Sena, from higher school, power to apply putting na education na putting zilba everywhere na putting zilba to na then bribery, right towa by sapi na lang towa asin mayang asin na marapo yun na masidi. It is for the whole state. A koi mani kogi dama kyang lai bak chi bani. Marami lai bik hei ba angang du na su. Lai bik lai bik hei du na su. Excuse me. Mama mo papa is sapai ready. Why should I study? Kali ti ay lai bik yakan na tam bani. Ima ipa pa is sapai bani na. Ure pa is sapai bani di bani. Adugi mentali ti do angang kaya ada lai tam bani di. In Nagaland, all arrangements are complete for the assembly polls tomorrow. The fate of 188 candidates will be decided in the polls. 2023. Polling booths have been set up, and a total of 50,000 polling officials in various capacities are in the polling process. The entire state has been put under the tight security cover of the central paramilitary forces and police. Meanwhile, in an unfortunate turn of event, INC candidate of Twinsang Sadar One Assembly Constituency, P. Chuba Chang, passed away early this morning. In this regard, the district election officer has announced for adjournment of poll for 53 Twinsang Sadar One AC to a date to be notified by the election commission. Battle lines have been drawn for tomorrow's poll to the 60-member Meghalaya Assembly in which 345 candidates, including Chief Minister Mukul Sangma and Congress President D.D. Lapang, are in the fray. Ban Khashi Organization Hinwi Trap National Liberation Council has called a 36-hour ban from 6 p.m. today in seven districts in the Khasi and Jaintia Hill Station. The Congress has put up candidates in all the 66 and LA United Democratic Party in 50. After 15 parties in the fray, the PA Sangma Late National People's Party is contesting in 32 seats. The NCP in 21 and the BJP in 13. Among the candidates are 25 women. The death toll in the Hyderabad twin blast has risen to 16, while 117 injured are undergoing in various hospitals. The conditions of the 10 injured remain critical. Two powerful simultaneous blasts had ripped through a crowded area close to a cluster of bus stands in Dilsunagar area yesterday. The identification of the bodies of the victims is also in progress. So far, nine bodies have been identified, and after due procedure, the bodies have been handed over to their family members. The national Investigating agency has begun to probe with the help of Andhra Pradesh Special Police. Special teams have been formed for the investigation. The Union Home Minister Sushil Kumar Sindhi and Home Secretary R K Singh today visited the blast site and met the injured in the hospital. The Union Home Minister said that the government will never leave any stone unturned to bring the perpetrators of this crime to book. He said that the probe has begun and is in the initial stage. He said the real culprits are yet to be ascertained. Well, but before we close the headlines once again, three unidentified gunmen steal gold jewelry worth rupees 20 lakhs from the residence of Arun Enterprise proprietor. With this, we end this news. Thanks for joining and stay tuned.